Chucky Cack lines. Hi, ah, yeah, those ones are the funniest ones. Like, they really think they can pull one over on us. As if they have some secret playbook or strategy that we've never seen before. It's almost adorable how stupid they are. We see through their little tricks like they're made of glass. They're just wasting their time and energy and making complete idiots of themselves in the process. They're like a bunch of mindless rats running around in a maze, desperately trying to find an escape. It's just too damn amusing. And when they realize they've been had, they're so confused and defeated, it's like they can't even comprehend what just happened. They stand there with this dumbfounded look on their faces, like they have no idea how they could have been so stupid. It's satisfying to see them realize just how outmatched they are, just how much smarter we are than them. Chucky sneers. Ah, yes, and when they finally realize just how outmatched they are and how utterly foolish they've been, it's a beautiful thing. And they're with this dumbfounded look on their faces, like they're trying to process what just happened. It's like they can't believe they were naive enough to fall for our tricks, and they realize there's no way they can challenge us. They look so defeated and humiliated, and it's so damn good. And the best part is, they'll never forget it. They'll always remember how we outsmarted them, how we toyed with them and made them look like fools. It'll stay with them for the rest of their lives, a constant reminder of how gullible and incompetent they were. Chucky laughs heartily. Haha, <laughs> you're absolutely right. They'll remember this forever. The feeling of being outsmarted and manipulated, of being played like a fiddle and made to look like clueless idiots. It'll haunt them for the rest of their days, reminding them of their stupidity and gullibility. They'll be forever traumatized by the experience, constantly looking over their shoulders and wary of being fooled again. It's such a satisfying feeling, knowing we've got a permanent hold on their minds. And it's not just the fear and helplessness they'll remember, it's also the shame and humiliation they'll carry with them. They'll feel embarrassed and ashamed of how they were outsmarted, how they fell for our traps and tricks like a bunch of clueless little children. They'll feel embarrassed and humiliated for the rest of their lives, a constant reminder of how weak and gullible they are. Chucky cackles, oh boy, you nailed it. They'll not only remember the fear and helplessness we inflicted on them, but they'll also carry the shame and humiliation of being outsmarted and toyed with so easily. It's like we've branded them with the mark of stupidity, and they'll never be able to shake it off. They'll feel ashamed and embarrassed for the rest of their days, reminded of their weakness and vulnerability every time they think of us. It's like we've left a permanent scar on their egos, never to heal. And the best part is that we'll always have control over them. They'll always be looking over their shoulders, worried that we'll come back and pull another trick on them. They'll be paranoid and jumpy, never feeling truly safe and secure anymore. They'll always have that little nagging feeling in the back of their minds that we're out there, waiting to pounce again. It's like we've planted a seed of fear and paranoia in their heads, one that will never go away. Chucky sneers, oh, you hit the nail right on the head. We've got total control over those schmucks. They'll constantly be looking over their shoulders, paranoid and jumpy, never feeling truly safe again. They'll always have that lingering sense of unease. That little voice in their head warning them that we're hiding in the shadows. We've planted a seed of fear and paranoia in their brains that will never go away. A constant reminder of their weakness and vulnerability. And it's just so damn satisfying to know we hold that kind of power over them. And not only that, but we'll always have a place in their nightmares. They'll be haunted by memories of us. Of the moments we toyed with them and made them feel utterly helpless. They'll wake up in a cold sweat, thinking they've heard our laughter in the dead of the night. They'll always have that feeling of dread that we're watching them, waiting for the right moment to strike again. 
It's like we've become the stuff of their nightmares, lingering in the back of their minds forever. Chucky laughs heartily. <laughs> That's exactly right. We'll forever be etched in their nightmares, a constant presence in their subconscious. They'll wake up in the middle of the night drenched in sweat, thinking they've heard our chilling laughter echoing in the dark. They'll constantly feel our presence, watching them from the shadows, waiting for the perfect moment to strike again. We've become their worst fears, their biggest nightmares. They'll never be able to escape us, and isn't that just a beautiful thought? And it's not just their nightmares that we invade. We're also a constant presence in their thoughts and memories. They'll never be able to forget us, no matter how much they try. We'll always be lurking in the recesses of their minds, a reminder of how weak and foolish they are. They'll try to push us out, but we'll always find a way back in, tormenting them, taunting them, and reminding them of their inadequacy. Chucky cackles, you're absolutely right, my friend. We'll always be there, in their thoughts and memories, lurking like a relentless, unshakable presence. They'll try to push us out, try to ignore us, but we'll find a way to worm our way back in. We'll torment them, taunt them, and make them feel weak and foolish. They'll never be able to escape from us. They'll always be reminded of their inadequacy, and it's so damn satisfying to know that we have that kind of hold over them. And the most delicious part of it all is, they'll never be able to fully understand why we do what we do. They'll try to find reasons, explanations for our actions, but they'll never be able to make sense of it all. We'll always be a complete mystery to them, a total enigma. They'll never be able to predict our next move. They'll never be able to fully grasp the depths of our twisted motives. Chucky laughs heartily. Oh, you're right. They'll never be able to comprehend why we do what we do. They'll try to find logical explanations or reasons for our actions, but they'll always come up short. It'll be like trying to solve a complex puzzle without all the pieces. They'll be left feeling confused and utterly baffled. They'll try to anticipate our moves, try to figure us out, but they'll never get it. We'll remain an impenetrable mystery, an enigma they can't possibly hope to grasp. And that sense of not knowing, of being kept in the dark, will only drive them crazier and crazier. They'll become obsessed with figuring us out, but the deeper they dig, the more confused and frustrated they'll feel. They'll start to feel like they're going insane, like they're chasing a ghost they'll never be able to catch. It's like we're slowly driving them to the edge of madness, and isn't that just delightful? Chucky chuckles darkly, ha ha, you bet it is. That sense of not knowing, the feeling of being kept in the dark, it'll eat away at them. They'll become obsessed with understanding us, but the deeper they dig, the more confused and frustrated they'll get. They'll slowly start to unravel, questioning their own sanity, feeling like they're chasing a ghost that'll always stay just out of reach. It's like we're driving them to the brink of madness, and it's just so damn amusing to watch. And all through this, we'll be watching, enjoying every moment of their torment and confusion. We'll be relishing in the power we hold over them, in the knowledge that we're the ones holding all the cards. They'll be completely at our mercy, like puppets on a string, dancing to our every whim. It's like we're the puppet masters, pulling their strings and making them dance to our tune. And it's just so damn satisfying. Chucky cackles maniacally. Ah, you're absolutely right, my friend. We'll be watching every moment of their torment and confusion, relishing in our power and control over them. They'll be like helpless puppets dancing to our every command. We'll be the puppet masters, pulling their strings and making them perform for us. It's incredibly satisfying to see the effect we have on them, to watch them squirm and struggle like the fools they are. It's just so damn entertaining, isn't it? And the best part is that they'll eventually realize they're completely powerless against us. They'll try to resist, they'll try to fight back, but it'll all be futile. 
Their efforts will be like throwing a pebble at a mountain. It'll just bounce right off, leaving them feeling even more helpless and desperate. They'll realize that we're the ones in control, and they're just helpless pawns in our game. And the look of despair in their eyes when they finally accept that fact, oh boy, it's just priceless. Chucky chuckles smugly. Haha, <laughs> you nailed it. They'll eventually realize how utterly powerless they are against us. They'll try to resist, try to fight back, but it'll all be a wasted effort. Their attempt will be like a mosquito against a wall, completely ineffective. They'll come to the bitter acceptance that they're just helpless pawns in our game. The look of despair and resignation in their eyes when they finally realize the truth, oh boy, it's just priceless. We'll have them right where we want them, completely under our control. <laughs>